Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Ab Daily News with your hockey coach, your coach, and she's directly from Thailand. Today, episode number 262. What you have a menu coach today? First of all, the trade between the Montreal and the Dallas Star. That enough for Kurianov. Finally, a little bit more information about the Ab's update and news. But before we start, we invite you, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live show, and leave me a comment about this episode. And let's dive in, talking about my first subject of the day. My first subject of the day, guys, this is the first trait for Ken News. That enough for Kurianov from the Dallas Star. But I want to bring you a little bit more last year during the summer. Montreal with Weber and Carey Price, both together carrying over $18 million on the salary cap. But this is not a good sign for any team for their space with their salary cap. So what he did, he traded Shea Weber contract to the Vegas Golden Knight, and they got in return Ed Genie, that enough, the 33 years old. With this trade last summer, it's already a W for Ken Hughes. Now, what happening after that with that enough? It's just a plus for the Montreal Canadian at the end of the day. That enough, guys. Uh, this is what season in NHL. Four goals, 14 assists, 18 points, and 50 games. But his track record creates some kind of market in NHL. Montreal got a couple of phone calls from other team, and finally, they have an agreement with the Dallas Star for Curry enough. So Montreal get a younger player, 25 years old, and we'll see what's happening with Curry enough with the Montreal Canadian. So again, it's a win-win situation. Montreal have nothing to lose with the departure of Dead Enough for Curry Enough. With that trade, Montreal can then return 50% of the salary cap of Dead Enough. And with a $2.9 million of the Curry Enough, Montreal, at the end of the day, had only $400,000 on the salary cap they have at this moment. That gives them, again, a little bit freedom to make other trade as a third party to any other trade during the week before the end of the trade deadline. Look, guys. With this trait, that shows to us how much Ken Hughes loved the gambling. He did it with Kirby Dak last summer when he traded the 13th overall pick after he traded with Romanov. The reason why? Because he trusts Martin St. Louis and his coach's development like Adam Nicola and Scott Pellerin. He still believes both of them can change any players in NHL to become better. This is what he really believes Ken Hughes about Martin St. Louis. What is really imp impressive for Martin St. Louis and Adam Nicola, they get more out of undervalued players and underperforming players they have under their hands. They really do a great job with their development around any players with the Montreal Canadiens so far. Curious enough, guys, fit very well of what they can use believe on Martin St. Louis and Adam Nicola. And Martin St. Louis believe always any hockey player and any shell, you can teach them the hockey sense in any moment. And this is one reason why Kurenov struggle in any shell is hockey sense. But honestly, who is Kurenov and why the Montreal Canadian trade for him? Well, first of all, guys, Kurenov is a 12 overall pick in 2015 by the Dallas Star. 25 years old, 6'3", 205 pounds, shoot on the left, but play most of the time as a right winger. This season, in 43 games, he has two goals, seven assists, nine points, minus two. During his career with the Dallas Star, he has 257 games, 46 goals, 57 assists for a total of 103 points and plus one. But I want to go a little bit more deeper about Dennis Kurenov and what the problem he has with the Dallas Star. First of all, let's go back in the playoff 2020. At 22 years old, during that playoff, he has 9 goals, 8 assists, 17 points, and 27 games with the Dallas Star. One reason was really pay attention to people. It was his speed, his one-timer shot, and the potential was huge for him with the Dallas Star. But obviously, guys, he never reached it after that. That's the biggest problem with him. He go through four coaches during that time from 2020 to 2023. One thing the coaches said a lot about him, he was biggest problem is hockey sense. And when you have no hockey sense, you repeat always the same mistake. And that's what frustrated many coaches in NHL. But 
Sure enough, guys, for what we hear, here we go when we got a big statement about the problem with Kurianov. Kurianov's greatest flaw was his inconsistency. He was not able to put everything together at once. And when he did, it was a quick flash that never stuck around. Kurianov has all the tangible tools one look for in hockey players. Speed and a little shot to headline. But those tools were continuously wasted because he was not able to match them with the required hockey IQ. He was often out of the position, a commit, basic mistake that should always be avoided. That's exactly what, guys, I just mentioned to you earlier. This was coming most of the time from the four other coaches. He, they teach him Derek Link style, Jim Montgomery, Rick Bonnes, and finally, Peter Dubar. With that way he played, the Dallas star was really frustrated about him. On the flip side, the Montreal Canadiens see opportunity with Kurianov. Two different mindset, right? And Montreal Canadiens guys, they really believe they can improve his defensive side, can improve his puck management, can improve his transition because of his speed, and then they fit very well on the short term for sure for the Montreal Canadian. He's only a RFE next year. He has no negotiation power to increasing his salary. So Montreal Canadian, if he turn around to be good for them, they can sign him about $3.2 million for one year. So the risk is really low for the Montreal Canadian guy. He's going to be now on the training camp for the next 23 games with the Montreal Canadian. From there, Montreal is going to see if he fit or not for the first show with Montreal. At the end of the day, back to summer, Weber trade. Montreal gave away his contract, got that enough. And now that enough, Montreal got clear enough at 25 years old, X-12 overall pick. Montreal went on both ways. And at the end of the day, like I mentioned, if it doesn't work, it's okay. That's it. No sign him back. Let him go on the market. So it would be really interesting what looked like Kurianov under Martin St. Louis and Adam Nicola. A really great challenge, a project for both of them with Denis Kurianov. This concludes, guys, my first subject of the day. I would like to hear from you. Leave me a comment about this trade. What do you feel about Kurianov? And let's move on now, guys, for my second subject of the day. Finally, my second subject of the day is about Montreal Canadian abs update in news. First of all, Montreal traveled to the West Coast and played four games this week. Tuesday, Sharks. Thursday, the Kings. Friday, the Docks. And finally, Sunday, again, the Golden Knights. Uh, Kaden Cooley is back with the Montreal Canadian this week. Uh, we know Montreal has sent down to the Laval Rocket, Corey Shoneman. John Edmondson is a part of the trip. We don't know if he's going to play or not this week, but expect him to practice with the Montreal at the beginning of the week. Now, for the injuries around, Jekai season is done and over with a surgery with a right shoulder. Then we have Kirby Dak out uh, for a couple of weeks. We don't know exactly what's going on with him. Montreal did not give us more information. Armia stay in Montreal. And Whiteman, a little bit more serious about injury, so he's, he's not part of the trip and with the Montreal Canadian. Manian, nobody knows. It is what it is with the Montreal Canadian right now with all the injuries. that They give us only what they want to give for the Montreal Canadian fans. Please leave me a comment about this subject. And this concludes, guys, all the subjects we have for this episode 262. Here we go, guys. Inside this episode, we give you a little bit more information about the trade that enough, curious enough. And then finally, some update for the Montreal Canadian. But before we leave, we invite you, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Arcanation Live Show, and leave me a comment about this episode. And of course, we wish you an amazing, great, blessing day. And remember, you have greatness inside of you.